In this video, we'll look at how to calculate due dates with the Workday and Workday INTL functions. The Workday function returns a date in the future or past that takes into account weekends and, optionally, holidays. You can use the Workday function to calculate things like ship dates, delivery dates, and completion dates that need to take into account working and non-working days. Now, to review, Date calculations can be really simple. To add one day to the date in B5, I can put one in C5 and then just use the formula equals B5 plus C5. And this gives us December 23rd as expected. If I change C5 to minus one, we get December 21st. And this works because Excel stores all dates as serial numbers. But what happens when you need to skip weekends or holidays? Well, that's what the Workday function is for. Let me first apply a custom number format to these dates so we can easily see the day of week. The Workday function takes three arguments, a start date, days, and an optional range for holidays. To skip weekends, I just need to give Workday the start date from column B and the day value from column C. With a value of one day, the result is December 25th, a Monday. Workday skips the weekend. If I change days to two, we get December 26th. Now, December 25th is Christmas, so it wouldn't normally be treated as a workday. To take holidays into account, we need to provide a range of dates that represent non-working days. When I add that range as the third argument, you can see that Workday excludes those dates from the calculation. Finally, what if you need to treat a weekend day like Saturday as a workday? In that case, you'll want to switch to the Workday INTL function, which allows you to customize weekends. Workday INTL takes another optional argument, called Weekend, which goes into the third position, followed by holidays. For example, if Saturdays are normally workdays, you would supply the code 11 for Weekend, and Workday INTL will treat Saturdays as workdays. A more flexible way to customize weekends is to use a special mask based on a text string of seven ones and zeros where ones represent non-working days in a week that begins on Monday. So for example, if Saturdays are normally a working day, I would use six zeros followed by a one. This scheme lets you specify any combination of working and non-working days in a seven-day week. 